Okay, it is Wednesday, March 1st, 2023, and we assessors are meeting at 5.15. Present are Russ French, Roxy Parrott, Laurie Lucier, and Lee Whitcomb. And first uh, order of business is to read the minutes from last time. when we went into executive sessions, so this is a good summary. Do I have a motion to accept as read? Second. Okay. Any questions, discussion? Mm -hmm. No, all in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, so the minutes are accepted as read. Now you like to keep yours. So. Mm -hmm. Yes. There we go. Mm -hmm. All righty. And next we have new mail and invoices. We do have two invoices ready to go. Uh, they're the ones that we approved uh, last week or last two weeks ago. Uh, the $440 annual subscription to ESRI. And um, the second one is from LL Data Designs, uh, which we talked about back several months ago. And it was a series of seminars or webinars on Excel programming. And I did do five of them. And so we have the bill for $125. The $25 per hour session is a great value. She's a good teacher. Um, and we'll be offering more later in the season, but I'm not gonna worry about them right now. Instead, um, I'd like to go ahead and pay these two bills, 125 LL data, and 440 to ESRI. Have we a motion? I move we pay the two bills. Okay, second. second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, and I'll ask for your initials up in the top corner on the bills. Mm -hmm. And I sign this and we're good. Okay, the new mail that we have is the um, corrected contract from uh, Cartographic for next year's coverage of tax map maintenance. Remember, we had seen $15 per building here and 20 on the other. Um, I talked with Mark Franco, we emailed, we didn't talk, and it uh, is the $20 figure. So he has corrected the contract to reflect that, and everything else is unchanged. And I would like to move to accept the contract with $2,100 a year for map maintenance service and $20 per building added or change. Uh, it would we, limit that to? We've estimated it to 20. 20. Yes, that's what I put in the budget. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So move to accept this uh, contract. Okay. Okay. Any further discussion or questions? Mm -hmm. no? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. We can sign that and then I get to sign this one. Mm 
Here we go, and that takes care of that. Wonderful. Um, we've had no recent sales since our last regular meeting uh, that were actual sales. Instead, we had first five transfers, right? Yeah. Yeah. Five transfers within families. Ooh. Yes, they seems like we're getting a lot of those. Or is we that, are, is that and people are putting, putting things into trusts. Mm -hmm. The the number of things, people putting things into trusts has really increased in the last two to three years. Mm -hmm. um, well, as people get older, they don't want to take the team. Oh, that's right. And trusts, nursing homes and rehabs attached right? in the house. And trusts are, you know, much more available. And I think they've come up with more of them, uh, varieties of them. Yeah. Okay, we do have one transfer of the house, Kate's old house. Um, your Kate on um, the ledge. Oh, that was so Yeah. Old. No, it just transferred from the parents to the daughter. Oh, oh okay. yeah. yeah. We've been living there for since it was sold. Right. And so now it's in her name alone. Do we need to initial any of this? It's up to you. Oh. Yeah. Just, uh... I was going to say they don't even. Keep those in the long run. That's right. We don't. I list them and they get disqualified from the LA3 right. and they sales list because they're not arm's length. Right. So, and they're accessible electronically at any right. time. The page you have to report on them. Oh, yes. And have to change the ownership and the evaluation program for next mm -hmm. year and all that. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is good. Well, once it's all said and done. Yeah, yeah. that's a nice surveyed one. Yeah. I don't Oh, this one doesn't come to town now. Interestingly enough. Her mailing address is Palmway, but she lives just over the town line into Deerfield out on Matthews Road. Yeah, We're always getting her everything. I didn't even, yeah, I Palmway. didn't, I didn't even look. Yeah, no, it's all right. It's all right. Not a problem. I got, I actually got something for her recently. Yeah. I ended up sending it back. Mm -hmm. Oh, it was from a vet. Oh, it was from a vet. And I sent it back. I said, mm, nope, Deerfield. Right. <laughs> right, right. Yep. And here are the current permits. I'll just toss this one for two different hours. Yeah, it's just past the town line. And so she gets her mail delivered from Conway. Well, they should probably fix that, that deed then. Yes. Oh, good point. Oh, this is for the plumber because I was going to say I think I saw something on this one already. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. It's a second application. There's, I think there's three permits for one property. Mm -hmm. Yep. There are no new listings. Hmm. But um, the one on Main Street. And Wildside and the Bachelor Farm, New Hall Road, all can say contingent. Oh, Wildside does too? It did, yes. Mm -hmm. Which one? I didn't see that. Wildside. Oh, Wildside. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I did not see that. Well, we'll just wait and see how those go. That's probably that lovely young woman. It'd be nice, wouldn't with. it? Yeah. They were very pleasant. They were really excited about the possibilities and about the whole way of life up there, yeah. I think it was the younger that was purchasing and the other was mother maybe? I don't know. Yeah, she wasn't her mother, but I think somehow they were would be working together or something. I don't know. I didn't mm. want to ask, you know, too much. Too much before you actually live here. Yeah. But it's nice because they're interested in keeping it yes. the way it is. Yes, and it is an educational it. facility right. and permaculture and yeah, it'd be terrific. 
so much has gone into it to create yeah. that. Yeah. Oh, yes. No, as I'm sitting on hold with mine, mm. waiting for one signature. I thought you have it on. Oh, it's on, but they can't have Eversource come out and turn it on because the electrical inspector never signed, or he never fought, sent the, oh. the, the building inspector sent his sign yes. off, but the electrical inspector who oh. did his before the building inspector never did. So it's just sitting, waiting. Oh, dear. Until he sends it. So I was just saying, mm -hmm. it should have been on weeks ago. You go show up at the inspector's office at 8 a.m. or what? You know, they called, I called. Yeah. I'm going to eventually. Yeah. You know, they yeah. open the file and give me a copy of that. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Well, I have everything here to finish Maybe the Carlo Bateman application. Yeah. Ended up being a little slightly more than it was. Now that is a set for you of as build as abated, uh, and a sheet showing what happened to the different areas. Okay. So wait a minute. This is as build. Mm -hmm. okay. mm -hmm. Make sure I get a copy of that too. But yeah, right we have there. an office copy. Yeah, so I can mail them along with the certificate. Yes. I'll attach this to the application. How about, is that okay? Uh huh. Absolutely. It's already voted on. Yes, mm -hmm. but we ought to re vote because the, it came out to like $100 more or something. Mm -hmm. Well, I thought you voted to change. Just to average. We changed the grade to average. The grade was always average. The grade was the, always C when you we yeah. decided to, you, or I didn't, you guys voted to change the condition on the exterior to average. I did that. Well, but where does that show up? It, it thought, doesn't show up on the card. It shows up in the program. Well, that's the condition. That's the condition of the exterior. I myself am not going to decide anything on the condition of the interior unless I've seen it. I'm going to leave it as it was. Okay. I mean, I didn't vote on it. You guys voted, but... Um... I was assuming I just technically you should have really very, very little input right now because she is your sister. I know, but I'm but, just going over what you did. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm not saying you you voted, I didn't vote. Mm -hmm. I'm just checking what's going on. And how yeah, we changed, changed the um condition on the barn. Okay. Mm -hmm. because many of the things that were corrected are very modest in value anyway mm -hmm. they totaled up to an abated value of three thousand dollars on the various parts of that um so so we got vote again yeah right, i moved to accept mm -hmm. the new values Okay, second. Oh, should I vote? Yeah, no. Lee, you're the only no. one that can second. Right. Yeah, no, I'm, I second. Yeah. No. Yeah, you can't vote on this one. Right. Yeah. yeah. No. <laughs> uh, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, here we are. And we can. It's going to be certificate number. That's number 11. 20, yep. 23 11. Mm -hmm. I don't remember what day we went out and inspected it. That was before the snow. Yes, before the snow, that's right. 
Oh yeah. And we have two summaries on the certificate here. Mm -hmm. I guess we're supposed to have quite a good storm on the end of the week. We don't talk about it, it won't happen. Oh, I see. I think it's going to be flooded in. Is it? Mm -hmm. Again, we don't talk about <laughs> it, it won't happen. Uh, okay. I would like to actually get out of my house. Okay. Well, that's your property keeping. Oh, you like. okay. Mm -hmm. Well, I do have, I just want to ask just because we're Did you understanding. You've got more to put with this. Well, I'm going to put that in here with this and then give it to Laurie this way. No, thank you. <laughs> um, I, I understand you said just because just assessing different homes mm -hmm. that um, you can't change the condition here because you didn't go inside, right? Is that mm -hmm. that's what you said, right? Yeah. I'm not going to change the overall condition until I've seen the interior. Okay. So, because that's where most of the value is, really, or well, a significant amount. Well, all I'm questioning is because I borrow <laughs> a lot of properties and they're being assessed by exterior only, and it does mm -hmm. change from the condition on the outside uh, or the condition. And I'm just wondering if you're assessing some from the outside only, and they do change. Then we do not change the. Uh, basically, as I would say, we look at what the interior condition was listed and we decide whether or not to leave it based on the exterior. Is that correct? Yeah. Yeah. If we can't see the interior, right? But we I have to make an educated guess. True, and I and I I understand yeah. that, but just for me to understand that, um, because what I see a lot of properties where mm -hmm. you don't go inside at all, mm -hmm. and you still have to assess it by the outside. Yes, it's very difficult. Um, so we tend, I think, the tendency has always been to. Um, look at the inside as one step higher, one step better than the outside. For example, if the outside is average, we look at the inside as probably being good because that's where the people live. It's not exposed to the elements. It's not exposed to the elements, yeah. Okay. Just um, trying to be clear on that. You yeah. want me to keep that, okay. Now let's see, another day that changes. We don't have any visits to report on right now. Um, so I think we can go on to motor vehicle exercise abatements. Do you, have, you didn't get any of the other ones we looked at already? Um, well, we site visits. Right, we haven't had a chance to pull them together. Okay. Yeah. Well, Good I think work. we voted on some. Well, I didn't get those ready. What um, about the, the one from last week? That we needed was that in here, right, Phil? No, 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 not the site visits. The uh, all the people we signed for yes. was one that there was a problem with. No, you're talking about the exemptions, the personal exemptions, right? And yes. we're waiting for backup paperwork on two, right. on two of them. Okay, yeah. so all right, yeah, and they have until April. First, April think, first to get that to yeah. you. Okay. All right. I just yeah. Yeah. We're in, in good order there. We didn't give them anything then, but they are in a holding pattern. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, okay, motor vehicle excise. We have one disabled veteran, uh, well, three dis disabilities, yeah, they're not armed ordered. vehicles, of sold and traded, uh, the usual assortment. And we have the coupons. And the applications for each. And the summary. And the summary, yes. <laughs> so um, most of them are full abatements or full exemptions, depending on the reason. Um, so there's really no discussion on those. Um, the farm is full exemption. 
This is this one was sold and Lori has apportioned it. Another farm. Um, yeah, disabilities. So um, move to grant them as presented. Okay. 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 Any uh, discussion? Questions? Mm -hmm. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Start in. It's March already. Doesn't matter what. Oh, what? What did I do? Oh, you're oh, I can't. Law. No, I you can't, can't sign that one. Nope, but all the rest you can. Okay. Well, is, it, is that kind of separate? Um... It's not on a separate summary, but you only need two signatures on the summary. Right, right. we're okay, okay here. Yep. Yep. Yeah, that's something I just have to remember. Yes. Well, we just did do the two. So Jan doesn't have a ton of extra paperwork. Mm. Oops. Okay, I didn't have a presenter. Here we go. That's all I've got on those. Oh, yeah, okay. So there's three on here. There are three, yeah. yeah. Um, Well, the time out, all of them all together totals $1,113.40. For all these appointments? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, am I supposed to, I'm not supposed to sign that. Right, no, that's right. Do we have any guests online, Lori? Oh, okay. Okay. Other business. I did the budget presentation on Monday night. Um, you know, they never comment. There was a few questions I reported on. Um, we did receive the return all from Eversource. 
And this year, they are reporting uh, 2.655 million in new growth, which is down quite a lot from the 4 million last year, but that was a, a bonus year, I guess. But that combined with what we would expect from our um, new houses here in town, uh, it should bring in new revenue of about $57,000. Uh, no, huh? yeah, from new growth. Mm -hmm. We don't have all of our figures yet, so that's a slightly conservative estimate at this time. But I had hoped that Eversource might have a higher number for us. But so, what is it that ever, how do you get they get new growth? How do they get new growth by replacing high tension lines and poles, okay. the wires and poles, that type of thing? Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, yeah, and that's how they do it. And uh, let's see, I haven't attended anything. All of those are finance team meeting Monday morning. And the biggest question was, where can we buy new revenue? And so Veronique is going to follow up with the towns that have watersheds here and see if we can't get that back in place where we're receiving a, a um, payment in lieu of taxes because of the watershed. Yeah. Oh, well, we just have those two, right? Yes, we just have the two. And I did the calculations and it's been handed over to her for the select board to pursue. Yeah. Because they, they don't pay taxes. They don't, but there is a law, let's say it's, it's 59, 5D uh, and E that says that they should. Oh. They pay a, pay a, a sum in lieu of a tax. Mm -hmm. And so we're working on that. Town council said refer to that. You know, under the um, you know, aegis of that particular law and clause, that we are sending them this figure, and we'll be looking. We'll be sending them a statement on July first. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Of course, I'm only half listening. This was on the watershed property. Watersheds, right? yeah. Okay. Did yeah. You talk about that two weeks ago. Um, maybe well, maybe it was that. longer. Yeah. yeah. And the um. So can they can they discuss and say it's not right? Um, they I mean, can. What, what is their legal right to? We have a legal right to build them, and they, they must have, have the some right kind to of a right it. to. They have the right to contest <laughs> it and go to ATB and so forth. Does yeah. it have to? Could there be a negotiation, or how do you? Uh... That's up to the town to decide whether or not they want to negotiate. The value calculated that they owe is the average value of the last three years of taxes. So you take the last three year, what three years, what would have been the taxes on each parcel mm -hmm. and average them over the three years, then total that. Okay. Yep. So it's a clear cut calculation. But um, should they pursue it? I think basically. Do you have it? Do you know what the amount would be? Is it it total to, between the two of them? It's uh, almost $15,000. Okay. Yeah. Which is not a lot. Yeah. But it's some, mm -hmm. and it's getting that process back in place. Right. Yeah. And back on the tax roll, yeah. How did that ever, was it at one point? And it, it was. Uh, when I first came on the board in the early 90s, it was happening. And, but I don't remember us really having much to do with it. And I don't know how it was dropped. Uh, but it happened. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> so we're going to try and, as I say, re, uh, re-invoke that possibility. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We have a new um, personal exemption for a disabled vet. This one does not have any personal financial information, so we don't have to go into executive session for it. Um, this person sent in all their qualifications and would qualify for the $400 exemption plus $12 of uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, community preservation fund. Yeah. So we're all set here. That just came in today, actually. Um, we have all of that and the statement of disability. Okay. Yeah. So we're in good order there. Uh, move to grant. Second. Okay. 
All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. The status granted. We also have the certificate and the two summaries on this one. What was the doorbell? Somebody named Sarah. Oh, is okay. Connecting. Her. Well, hello, Sarah. Welcome. She can't hear us yet. Okay. So Sarah's connecting and can't hear you yet. Okay. Sarah did not connect. Oh, okay. Oh, well. <laughs> and now oh, she's still here. Oh, sorry, all three of these. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We didn't have much on our agenda. No, but we have this lovely pile. What's that? <laughs> that is returns from three ABCs and uh, you know exempt ownerships. Yeah, so far yeah. Not, reviewing those isn't on the agenda, but it's a other item. It's another item. Yeah. Yeah, three ABCs and the uh, utility forms, things like. Solar companies and Eversource and NSTAR, yeah, Eversource, NSTAR, and all of those. Yeah, the phone companies. Okay. Yeah. Um, now, going back to another item, well, maybe I'll save that till next time. Uh, the Matus property. I don't know if I mentioned that Burton came in, he looked up the order that they had given on that property, that the Conservation Commission had issued on that property, I think it was 10 years ago, and left me a copy of it. And he said, I took a look. There's plenty of space on that parcel that exists outside of 200 feet from the river. Also, development can, can happen within the riverfront area. It just has to be permitted. So as far as he could see, it is eminently buildable. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So we have to decide whether we would uh, deny the application based on that. Um, because was he saying on the application it wasn't? Buildable, yes. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. So obviously, yeah. and this is from who? Conservation Commission. Yeah, chair so, of the Yeah, well, I'll bring the I'll bring the um, application up at our next meeting, and we can decide and sign it then. Okay. Yeah, I just wanted to let you know because I think you had spoken to him, and now you got it right. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. And just as a, this is a point of interest is all, I do a comparison of the regional tax rates. I have 30 towns in Franklin County, including several others in Hampshire, Hampshire County, um, such as our neighbors, Williamsburg and so forth. Um, we consistently run in the middle third of the tax rates for these towns. I have three years here showing. Uh, Warwick's hasn't been uh, awarded yet, hasn't been issued yet. Wendell just came in at $21.41. Mm -hmm. um, those two towns have so much state land that they're... Um, they probably don't have any... Mm -hmm. Little business, mm -hmm. you know, lots of protected land. Mm -hmm. Very difficult to meet a budget. So this is just a point of interest. We put it out on the uh, website and we post it here in the lobby. So we're about in the middle as usual. Yes. Yeah, we're in the middle third. We're at the top of the middle third right at the moment. Yeah. We'll get down one once Warwick gets there. So being in the middle third means we're pretty much just in the middle. We will. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. I would say we're a uh, little higher in the middle. <laughs> we're 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 right around a third yeah. down. Well, the red lines are thirds. Yeah. Yeah. The um higher than the middle, lower than the third. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Um, it's it's interesting. It's interesting to watch and see what's happening. Yeah. 
Okay. We might as well look these over and uh, These are the business returns for companies that have business but don't own real estate here. The first is QLT, and what they do is lease telephone systems. So they lease one residential system in town, hmm. which they have to report. It's too small to bill, it's under 10,000, and they happen to have no new growth this year. So I pull this right on. No growth. No new growth. This is another new company, Progressive Leasing. So, so you said this is a company that doesn't... They own that telephone system, but they own no real estate. Really? Mm -hmm. So where do they do this? They don't. They're out of Texas. Huh. Yeah. And they have one customer or one resident. Yes. Evidently, that is that has signed a, on with whatever sense, they do. Of their phone yes. Oh, so yes. somebody... Somebody in Works town remotely or whatever the yes. case may be with whatever. this company. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Okay, I was mm -hmm. trying to think. How does the company have something? Okay, less than. This is another new one uh, that leases personal household consumer goods, cellular phones, automobile accessories, jewelry, bedding, and furniture assets. Uh, it's called NPRTO East. And we have here uh, something for $850. <laughs> so again, it won't be that tax because it's under the 10000 <laughs> But uh, huh. there it is. Progressive leasing, yeah, we'll just add that to it. Yes. Oh, these go together? Yes, they do. New England, uh, new, set, new singular wireless is reporting a total of $21,651 value. And we do have $606 in new growth. So that'll count. Yep. All of these were supposed to be in by today, so. The returns were due today also? Yeah. Yep, March 1st. Yep. Comcast IP, that is $3,000 in assets um, with $60 of new growth, so we won't get that. We only get new growth if it actually gets billed. If it's in an account that's too small to bill, um, we aren't allowed to count the new growth. So it's under 10,000. This one is from Sunrun uh, for a residential system on Boyden Road, which is exempt, but they did report it. So there's 
nothing for us to do there except thank them for reporting. New Inland Power is showing a net book value of $1,142,558 in towers and transmission facilities uh, with no new growth this year. It's kind of intriguing because some of what they report was actually installed in 1923 and is still there working. Hmm. Yeah, 1915. No. Well, that this is they have this to... is New England Power. Oh, well, we haven't had to replace anything. Right? I know some things apparently are <laughs> uh, extremely well made at the time, <laughs> or the made to last. Well, that's right. Okay, nothing new here either. ADT, of course, is the home security systems, mm -hmm. and they're reporting a total value of $397 in town. So, so because a company has a customer in town, mm -hmm. is that why? Mm -hmm. Wow. Well, not, a, not necessarily just a customer. They, they've got to have material on the custom property. Oh, okay. Yeah, but that's what I mean. Yes, they yes. have their system yes. in somebody's house in town. Mm -hmm. right. Okay, right. yeah. I see a lot of their, their signs around. You'd think there was more I know. Lives, wouldn't you? Yeah. <laughs> oh, really? I mean, yes. there's a lot of their yes. signs posted. But yep. do they actually have the system? I, I mean, yeah, they come <laughs> keep the sign afterward, maybe. Mm -hmm. Great River Hydro is reporting a 2.7 million purchase price with an estimated market value of 1.7. So we're gonna, this Roy will look this one over anyway. And we're just gonna say that yes, we received it and there is no new growth. I mean, so does that mean they're going to cut the value from what they they're purchasing at, right? Yeah, the latest merger. Now they're still calling it Great River Hydro here, but there was that merger with right. You know the T, but um, this is. I don't know if that purchase price is simply a proportion of what the merger value was, um, I would guess that Roy will advise us to keep our present value. And if they want to contest it, of course, they'll have to come up with some income data for it to be valued on the income system. Yep. That would be very good if they cut it in the down. Mm-hmm. That could be extremely painful. Yeah. Is that what we, we tax them or they pay for uh, <laughs> Really, the them is. Uh, now, is this the one that's down there on the. Uh, that's a dam, number two dam down. You go down near where we went down. Yeah, the, yeah, the down, yeah. Okay, that's what I said. Nine million. Mm. 
uh, all together with their other little pieces of land. It's about nine and a half. Okay, Direct TV is reporting $720 in value. Because people don't like satellites around here. You're right. Not many left. The wind is off. Us, but does anybody like Comcast? <laughs> I, don't I know. It's, uh, it's expensive. It is, but it handles my internet, my TV, my home security. Mm -hmm. no. And it doesn't blow away in the wind. I know. <laughs> I wish we had options. Uh, that would be nice. Well, you just have internet and do streaming. I know. This is um, mayor gas and reporting the various uh, propane tanks that they have around. There are no new ones listed. They are reporting a total value of $3,700 for a lot of old propane tanks, as according to them. Um, nothing, acquisition date 2000. That was when they took over a different company, I believe. The reported cost $2,259. We do, we just go on there good faith, that's all, right? Well, yes. It's interesting because Suburban Propane reports $40,000. Mirror gas, where are they out of? Uh, Valley Forge PA is their national headquarters. But I they've don't got know to have somebody who they are to. locally. Hmm. I don't know. But it just seems kind of strange. I don't know how many tanks they list and how many tanks do they list. They don't have the number of tanks. They're in Greenfield. Oh, are they? They say the acquisition year, but not the number of them. They list them there, right? Yep. Yep. But this, that's quite a... That's quite that's a disparity. A, that's quite a difference. It is. They're saying an estimated market value, 13788 so what is their, do they have a price for each tank on here? No, they don't tell us how many tanks there are. Oh, because I mean, they just tell us what like year they were acquired. $38 is cheap for a tank. You think just a steel if you went to go buy salvage it. value would be higher than that. You can do think so, but I don't know. It depends on the age of them. I, I know that they, after a certain age, they have to dispose of them. Mm -hmm. they, or replace them and mm -hmm. get rid of them. Replace them. I, don't, no. I don't know what the age is, but I do know that they have to replace them. Mm -hmm. uh, we probably could request a, a more detailed list. Oh, because they're giving this you, one, when giving this, you one? Just this, right? Is that right, and mean? this, you know, with all the street addresses. Oh, they are here. But yes, these not. don't. These don't give this, us any further information how many tanks each year uh, okay. just what year and what they yeah acquired. but i'm not sure if they're full propane or if they're because i'm looking at their thing and it's when i grill tanks grill, oh. tank, grill tanks oh if it's a grill tank that could be 38 dollars a grill tank real tanks you know gas yeah grill? i know but that's it's what i is. i mean not i permanent I, installation i wouldn't think that would be recorded no i don't that's know. something you're taking, you buy, and you take it back and get your... Yeah, well, when I put why use Amerigas, it, it comes up with all the locations to swap out your grill tanks. Amerigas, so that's, I've seen that as grill. I yes. mean, they do do home propane, but I'm not sure if they... Well, that's interesting. And they're pretty small. I don't know. 
250 gallon, 120 gallon, 20 pound. If we wanted to get particular about it, we probably could contact them and ask for itemized lists. Um, Maybe they're just not very popular here yet. Hard to know. Okay, that's on lack roofing. Now these are the the um, exempt landowner landowners, and we've received all but three back. And these we simply you know acknowledge. Um, many of them do have to report some financial information, which we won't go into in detail here. Mm -hmm. But um, you can certainly look at it and review it. <laughs> this is the UCC of Conway. Oops. Oh, thank you for putting those back in. Hmm. Thank you for putting those back in the folder. <laughs> I have. I didn't put them. Oh, you yeah, did? No, no, is, no. As long as the is, holder's there. Is it, is one this one? is the form oh, yeah. that yeah. when we accept and approve it. Declares them exempt for 2024. But yes, we're, doing... we're accepting them as exempt mm -hmm. for 2024. <laughs> okay. Yeah. 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 There's no place for us to vote or sign that we voted. So that's what we, the process we're, we're is. Signing, we are signing each of these. Yes. There's no place. Oh. We're just initialing them. Okay. But um, this is the New England Church of God, which has the big. Camp over on Roaring Brook Road. Okay. And they certainly have had activity there. They try and do at least two work weekends a year, plus have uh, another couple of get togethers there. They're based in Southern Rhode Island, so it's uh, quite something for them to come up. This is the Sportsman's National Land Trust, which purchased a piece way up off Bray Road in Buckland that happens to come over into Conway. So they've sent us their full return, plus all the supporting documentation that we need. This is their first year with us. They own land in a number of uh, different areas all over New England, I guess. So this is the one of Massachusetts. So they have sent everything they need. Um, what, do they, what do they do there? I mean, do they, I, I mean, like these people, we ask them to have them. Of right. A year. Right. What are these? Proof people? of use. Right. These people are in the business of protecting habitat. Okay. Used by the general public in furtherance of the organization's mission, as set forth in statement one, to preserve open space and wildlife habitat, to provide sportsmen and women with permanent access for hunting and fishing, to promote a conservation ethic and wise use of natural resources, to promote good sportsmanship and land stewardship through education and to improve wildlife habitat through cooperation with other conservation organizations. So it's just open to the public then. Yes. Except they put that keyword education in there. Yes. And that so it made it change from a chapter. I was going to say, yeah. why is it in a chapter? <laughs> because of the education. That, right. that changed it. Are they giving being... classes? Well, let me see here. The public has full access to this property for hunting and outdoor recreation. Additionally, the organization has engaged a forester to evaluate the property to determine what improvements <laughs> would be made to improve wildlife habitat of this property through various federal and state programs and other funding sources. Um, that still sounds like a chapter. Yeah, it, it, the property is yep, used by general for, public for hunting, hiking, hiking, I'm waiting for the education part and outdoor that. recreation. Mm -hmm. The okay, they're currently working with government and private groups. Each year, the organization has a booth at the Springfield Sportsman's Show to promote the group, its mission, and let the general public know about the property. We also participated at other events throughout the state to promote our mission. And they have a website. And so it still sounds like a chapter. <laughs> That's what I think too. <laughs> what are they doing anything different on the land? It's, it's like they're not doing anything different on the land. They're conserving it as open for open space. 
right. basically, and, and working to improve the habitat for the wildlife, it sounds like. And allowing some hunting. But it, Except they how does that it make it exempt? Than but, 25%. I, right. No, I'm curious. How does that make it exempt? Yeah. How does, why because I know, like with Wildside, she had a lot of educational programs going on there. And, and she that, was exempt. Right. 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 But what are they but doing? It's how besides was, letting it open to the public. How is this different than this forester? But, yeah, but that's what a, a forester. That's right. For 61, anyway. Or 61. 61. Yeah. I just want to know how it's different than a 61B. Yeah. That's what it sounds like. It's a recreational. It is. The difference is the fact that this is incorporated as a nonprofit. Thank you. Uh, there we go. There's the answer. Yep. <laughs> That's it. No, interestingly enough, the fellow who's treasurer and director, I think, used to live here in town. She couldn't have said that when we first asked. <laughs> <laughs> she just got that skimming through. But keep it hanging. <laughs> so there they are. It's, it was only valued at about three thousand dollars. The tiny little part that's in Conway. Right. I want that fifteen dollar time. <laughs> they put a lot of paperwork in the building. They do. They have to file these vast amounts every year. Mm. Yep. Okay, Smith Smith College. College who sits there and does just that. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's true. Yeah, Smith College owns two parcels down at the end of Waitley Road, almost at the Waitley Town Line. Uh, they are not improved. One has had several trails cut into it that are used by the Environmental Education Program courses. Mm -hmm. They now have a degree, apparently, an undergraduate degree at Smith. And so it abuts the property where their observatory is. And they've um, opened up some good signs for the public to use, uh, identification of this, that, and the other animals, mm -hmm. reptiles, so forth. So um, it is open to the public. And how much property is that? Altogether, between 15 and 20 acres. Is that anything like what uh, UMass does up at Mount Toby? Probably. Yes. Yes, I expect it is. And we have the Sportsman's Club. Summary of the primary mission, wildlife conservation and youth education. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of youth education. Going yes, on. yes, they do a great deal. Yeah. And so they have submitted their full report. It's like, oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, NSTAR, Eversource, submitted their um, paperwork with an initial value or... Is that back up in the business returns? Yeah. Okay. Well, you're... Yeah. Okay. Yeah, total value of 21178771708 with new growth of 2.655 million. That's what I was talking about earlier. Oh, yeah. That's in the wrong pile, though. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> yep. That's why I Sorry about kind that. of what, huh? <laughs> yeah. No, here's the other part of it, too. Somebody was messing with And I have forwarded that to Rory for his review. And we have the Conway Cemetery Association and a report of their filings. We can't tax those residents. <laughs> they don't use many services. See what you can get out of them. <laughs> right. And then this is the report from the Church of God, uh, Big Love Jesus in 
northern part of the campground area on Roaring Brook Road, the smaller parcel with the it camp on it. This is the the see new see. camp, newish. No one does too well, no. No, no. Wait a minute. No. No, this is separate. Yeah. I know, but which pile is it going? Oh, that one's going in this pile, and the ones. It's okay. No, no, I'll be going through this them all is, anyway. In that. Yeah. No this worries. Yeah. This, is the, one, this is the one. This is the one we're working on. This pile. Okay. That's this pile. I'll yeah. be, like I said, I'll have to scooch through them all anyway. Yeah. Uh, so David has submitted some pictures that we're apparently taking there this summer uh, to advertising the programs that they had there this year. And when we went over, there certainly appeared to be. Uh, no, which one's been, this, one? this is the opposite Waitley Glen Road. It's the camp area that the has the one. partly built cabin on it. It's right next to Roaring Brook. It's camp. right next it's to the big small. camp. Mm. Yeah. Before you get to it. Yeah. Yeah. And in the past, we had not granted them exempt status because they had had no activity. Huh. But this and our visit certainly support the fact that. They had activity there that last year. Mm -hmm. So uh, so they qualify. Yep, they qualify. Yep. Be exempt for 2024. He has hired an attorney to contest the taxes that were billed in 21 and 22. Mm -hmm. Uh, and with one of his questions being that we never received the applications, but we did the reports, right? The three ABCs, we did. That was never a question, right? There was no activity. It was a question of activity. Yes. It was during the height of so, COVID. It yeah. was not, it was not being used. For no, it wasn't being used at all. But, I wonder if um, they can get away with that being COVID and not being able to, well, not being able to get together. Right. We'll see if we haven't heard anything yet from an attorney. That's just by word of mouth mm -hmm. that we know about it. So, trustees of reservations owns uh, land from the former Bullet Estate over on the Asheville Town Line, coming in and joining into the Poland Brook Wildlife Management. Mm -hmm. And so they have lots of trails there and everything. And they have sent us their entire life story. <laughs> <laughs> Mm -hmm. uh, the New England Forestry Foundation has several pieces of land up above Wilder Hill Road. Um, Peter Robin has given them several big pieces up there. Oh, really? Yeah. And they are uh, another conservation organization. Everything they have is in conservation restriction and open to the public for you know gentle use. Yep. And so they have reported everything, including income received. So they qualify. They have quite a nice website. Uh, part of the up there is called Lucky Dog Forest. Which I think is a great name. <laughs> this one has not reported income and assets, uh, Jacques Jen, and so I'm going to send it back. Do they have any income? Well, they must pay their utility bills and so forth. And well, that's that's not income. That's I mean to pay things with. I don't know. I don't see much going on. I know. Where, what's that one? This is the old grammar, the school. old grammar school. Oh, 
Um, Somebody's she, there. Yeah, yeah she, I, I think so. I, I pretty yeah, because when she brought there. when she brought it in, I went, oh, I didn't realize anything was still going on there. Yes. Said, oh, yeah. So yes, we are. It may be all online. Maybe teaching online, but I think we can inquire into that a little more closely Absolutely. and ask for the additional figures. Yeah. Yep. Uh, this is the Conway Community Swimming Pool. Yep, everything is provided as needed. Well, that's interesting. Pioneer Valley Habitat for Humanity lists their mission or most significant activities as the organization is an ecumenical housing ministry. That's an interesting way to put it, yeah. Um, they have reported in full. They list a current value at the first a year of the new house for 109000 And it will be affordable housing. What other organizations use the property technical schools? So they may be having Franklin Tech come in and help build. Mm -hmm. I wonder. Yep. They said it hopes to have it sold by the end of 2023. Oh. Yeah. I thought there was the the new person person was working on it was already the buyer. I believe so. That was my that's, understanding that's too. I understand. Yep. Yep. That they already that. Yes, that they were chosen to be the family to right. live there. Right. But it must not have gone through as, right. as they're right. the owners yet. Yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. I could see where the tech school would come and do this great. learning thing yeah. to do oh, yeah. when electrical kid, or they, they do. plumbing and all that stuff. When yep. my kids were there, they had a couple of projects going on. Oh. But... Yeah, that's a great thing. Yeah, it is. Good example, just like the highway department building was. Yep. Oh, was it? Oh, yes, the office building. Yeah, they did a lot of that work. Saved yeah, the, tech kids did majority save of the it. country, uh, the town. A lot, a lot. Well over a hundred thousand. Well, mm. costs. Yeah, this is Field Memorial Library. They too have reported in full and included their, oops, latest tax return, as supporting documentation. They have to file a tax return, huh? Yes. Some do. And here we have the fireman's relief auxiliary. And it sent us everything. And the Roman Catholic Bishop of Springfield, who owns this church, St. Mark's. Mm -hmm. I think we ought to move right along so that we're not conflicting with our Zooms. No, no. Okay. We're not conflicting. All righty. Mass Bird of Prey Rehab, rehab uh, Tom Ricardi's. Oh, organization. Uh, did not send any, send anything extra. I'm gonna want to. I want to double check to make sure that we have all the supporting that we need for that. I hate no, to bug him this year, but just um, what gets exempt on him? On just that. the area where the um, birds are. Oh, okay. It's about a quarter acre. Mm -hmm. That's all. Yep. So 
but because that piece is that little area is devoted completely to this purpose. Yeah. Yeah, it's exempt. How my historical society? Hmm. No income received. We got to check that one because I'm sure there were donations of the various talks and everything. Mass Audubon Society. We're always very thorough. Oh, we shall already checked that one. Good. We'll put that one away. We signed off on it. I think that was our first one in. First one that was returned to us. Yeah. So aside from these couple, a couple of them. What is the, the other one from over on the end of Gilbert Species Ball Forest? Field. He hasn't submitted it yet, oh. which is very unusual. We had, don't have his or the, um, the group in Amherst that received Larry Domash's house. They haven't reported. And Franklin Land Trust. Is there a deadline we have to do it? March 1st. Oh, and, and Wildside. Unless they get. Unless they get an exemption, an extension. An extension from us. Right. But none have requested it, right? The only one who was a possible request was the Sportsman's Club because. Yes. Yeah, but, but they did get but it they, in yeah, Jana got here, got it in time. Yep. So I'll follow through on those. And we'll so see do what we happens. change some or do we just um, well it, if if we were a larger city, we wouldn't have time to chase them. No, if we some. were Lee Whitcomb, we would be sitting here tomorrow making phone calls because that's what Lee does. <laughs> Reminders, we're not a big city. So maybe in that one aspect, we don't have to act like one. <laughs> yep. And unfortunately, we missed our work session yesterday because of the storm. Mm -hmm. But um, some of us still came to work. I know. I'm sure if I can get up in my yard tonight. <laughs> it was sleeting when I left. Oh, ick. Yeah. Your driveway is no worse than me getting up old Cricket Hill Road. Right. Mine wasn't plowed. Yes. yes. Put it we'll put it in there and then, yeah, Laura, I'll get it. Uh, I'll deal with the pile tomorrow. Yes. Okay. Yep. I'm here bright and early. So I wanted to see what we could schedule next. Our next meeting would regularly be on um, March Wednesday, 15th. the 15th mm -hmm. of March. So that's the next regular meeting. That's our next regular meeting, yes. Mm -hmm. Work sessions now have to be posted as meetings. But we do not have to take minutes. Right. Right. So I think that we'll post the work. You know, we have to post them. Yeah. We'll post it a little differently. Um, we should keep reviewing minutes and taking minutes at regular. Like, don't start your work session by reviewing the minutes of no. the meeting. Just... We're not even going to, there's no agenda. There's no nothing. It's just a post in work session. That means that more than two of us are together working on something. Yeah. And yep. no, nothing is being, well, we could vote on it because we would have a quorum. But then yeah, I had read to you today what it exactly Yes. Is, and off the top of my head, it's not there, but yep. I do have it in my emails. Yeah. You, you know what? It'd be terrific if you could kind of make that into a separate email and send it to the three of us. What we can and can't do, and so forth. Well, it's not what you. Can, it's it's how I post it. That's all, right. all it is. Is how I post it. Okay, good. And so so we'll, we can or cannot vote on what we change. I don't see why not. It's a work session. It's part of a work session. And then do the certificate at the next meeting. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yes. Because we don't have to vote on it if we're not happy with it yet, or if we're on serving, say, let's think about it, or whatever. Right. But if one, you know, a, a shed or you're going to perfectly at the clear. next meeting anyway, because you're going to throw all the paperwork at me and say, do a certificate. Yeah, I am. <laughs> <laughs> Make it into paper airplanes and send it over. But uh, you know, if we had something like a garage and we all said, "Yep, that's the value," there we are. We could vote on that and then have the certificate ready at the next meeting. But I think we can treat each case individually within those strictures, yeah. Um, so shall we continue to try and do Tuesday afternoons? I cannot do next Tuesday. The 7th? 
Okay. Yeah. That's the only day of the week that I can't do. Okay. So, well, maybe we could look at Thursday instead. Russ, do you know what your schedule is? Getting busy. <laughs> I know. Yeah, it's that time of year. It's that time of me. I mean, I can I can try Thursday and see what. Okay. Okay. We I'll, I'll we, sure we will post it on Tuesday. Yeah. Thursday. So I'm going to say tentative. Work session. Work session. On Thursday the ninth. Yeah. Session. And so, so we can check could, with if, yeah, you, if you on could, Monday. If you could let me know by Monday or Tuesday morning. No, yeah, by Tuesday mm -hmm. morning. Yeah, because we need to start some more site visits. Yes, we do. That but one. it'd be nice to wait till April till the weather, weather is a bit more reliable. Okay. You um, don't want to walk around in this. That and you want to finish the ones that you've done before yeah, you we add to get the that done. Yes. Yes. Probably do. Two work sessions. Oh, no, we could get about them. Yes. Get them hot up because right. we're going to forget what they were. I know. I know. I'm thinking, you know, as far as starting our cyclical visits, uh, the center of town, the village is, is area number one in our neighborhood designation, and we might as well start with number one. So when we do figure out what we can well, do. Well, I thought we were, you, we were talking about doing um, the, the ones that are incomplete. Mm -hmm. Yes. Did you ever print out that list? I did at home. Uh, I'll get it. And I knew we wouldn't be doing it immediately, but um, also, I don't know. It's not on our agenda. But did you were you able to get that rest of those um, figures out? No. Oh, the costs. I mean, the codes and the yes, the residential costs. Yeah. Yeah. No, uh, Lashonda is still working on it. I asked her why one report didn't print out the same beautiful report mm -hmm. that the other one did, mm -hmm. but it doesn't. It won't print a PDF of any kind, mm -hmm. and it shows a very. Oh my God! Yeah, it was terrible. I I pulled it up over there too, and I couldn't you couldn't work with. I couldn't get anything but a standard text file, which is no columns or rows. The data oh. is just. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah so she's really working bad. on it. I was in contact with her today. Also, I haven't heard back from town council, but the two letters did go to her uh, to ask for her interpretation and whether or not we need to invoke the rule of necessity and so forth. So we'll just be waiting until we hear from her, her thoughts on it. Yep. So, okay, we will wait for that. Do we have any other business? Oh, did you get something back from the state? You no, no, he hasn't sent me anything back. Oh, because you were not asking. a written. I had written, asked him for a written yeah. consideration. And no, you haven't gotten it there? No. Huh. Um, I have the notes that I took on, on the phone with him, but um, and I could always submit the thing again. You know, I presume we would get the same answer, answers, but. Um, oh, because we were, we were, um, I don't know. But we were putting voting on some of them and about the grades and all that of some of the new things like the habitat. Mm -hmm. And we were talking about uh, the different things. But and I'm looking at your grade things, and they're they're in here listed here because we were saying we didn't have all these grades listed, and we do. Yeah, we we were talking. Yeah. I know, but we were saying, well, we don't have a. Well, I had shown that, you that a couple of I meetings know. ago and said I gave, you know, that came I know, months ago. But when we were talking about doing mm -hmm. it, we remember we were talking about there isn't an average or average to good. Yeah, what each letter represents. Yeah, but we were saying we don't have that when we were discussing the, mm -hmm. the Habitat House. It was either average or good, but there is, just want to make it clear, there is all these in between. Yes, for grade. Not for condition. Let me see. Well, that's listed as grade. Yes. Condition doesn't have the in between ones. It's, it's this, the other one says condition. Did I recall? Well, this one has. Oh, does that? Okay. It's it's nice. one, of the, one of the important categories does not have the in betweens. No. no. Did, was this created free, Tyler? No, no, this is from Tyler. Okay. No, but we were trying to decide can it be average to good, average or below average? Mm -hmm. And there's all these grades here and we weren't mm -hmm. using them. That's what I'm trying to just say. We oh, I, oh, I know. It's in outbuildings, don't have them. 
No, I, I think outbuildings don't have the in-betweens. That's what it was. Because there was all these great conditions we could use. Right. And we were talking, no, there's no in-betweens. There is. Yeah. Well, I'll have to I just wanted to make it now on the, on the, that out. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. I'll have to see also what's available now on the program itself. As they do change things periodically, but absolutely, I like the in-betweens myself. Uh -huh. Because we were voting on it, and we were saying there's no in-between, right. mm -hmm. and we could have yep. changed that. Yeah. Um, well, we can go back and revisit it. Mm -hmm. I don't think we have we final didn't do value on that one anyway. I just, yeah. Right. So. I move to adjourn. <laughs> okay. Second. Second. <laughs> Agree. <laughs> okay. All in favor, aye. Aye. Aye, aye. At uh, 6.36. 6.35. Okay, 6.35.